I'm going to take apart this gas valve and if I already loosened some screws but <clears throat> this is one of the least favorite gas valves and anytime I see them I just stay away stay away never touch I don't even touch them I don't switch this or anything with this gas valve I just don't want to touch it and you will see why for first thing this little connection here but once you take this apart you won't be able to reassemble it or there is no reason you should reassemble this after that this is for educational testing purposes only so once we take this off we have springs inside okay so these two screws come out there are actually three springs one two and three and this little seal next thing I'm going to take apart is this one here in order to loosen this screw I have to take this little screw off which I already did and then this basically unplugs like this okay and then what's inside inside is a circuit board it has connection here connection other side and the switch I'm actually not going to reassemble this gas valve so I don't worry about remembering anything here so that's a circuit board can say exactly what they are voltage regulators whatever they are but it's connecting the switch with to the gas valve to outside connection and to I believe this is either second stage yeah this is probably either second stage or first stage I can't say exactly all right let's keep going because what's inside is also interesting I have not taken this apart completely yet but I took the bottom off I just saw here let's take the bottom off okay nothing just piece of flat, uh, piece of metal here this diaphragm and by the way I'm saying this is my least favorite gas valve because it fails a lot I've replaced them a lot Okay, that's the pressure regulator. Uh, this diaphragm does not come off, at least so far. I don't want to destroy. So this is the main solenoid. And let's open that. So the main solenoid has is this. It's O-ring. This actually goes back here. All right, so how this is supposed to work is let's take a look what's incoming, what's outgoing. All right, in this case, this is incoming. So it comes in. There is a screen here. That screen actually got pretty covered with this orange stuff. So here's the screen maybe that's the reason this one failed actually it would not allow the gas to go through it comes in that's a main solenoid that's what's sealing that that's that's how it seals here and from here it goes down this way and here is another regulator and then here's another regulator So that solenoid opens and close. This O ring, I don't know what's the purpose of it. I, I had other gas valves taken apart and I can reassemble them and 
but this one's I, I guess once I take this and destroy these seals then there's nothing I can reassemble back All right this is rubber piece this one modulates and by the way this is two stage this is two stage gas valve let's take this cell off okay and inside there is a spring very special these valves are so delicate and I replaced them so many that and typically the failure happens as soon as you touch, they fail. That's how easy it is. Well, there is another hole. This hole actually goes all the way up here. Okay, they are connected. There is not too much I can say about this one. Just remember the model and serial and stay away if you can because of all the problems. And the replacement gas valve is not the same. Replacement is different. It's, it's a different design, comes with uh, adapter for the two-stage connection that is here. It's, it's a very special connection here. I mean this one right here. All right, that's it about this video about this gas valve that's all I can say just to take apart I can't explain any better how the gas goes through and what happens because this is two stage it's a little more complicated and there is no really any information available that I can determine exactly how the gas flows through this assembly how it regulates down to three and a half water column inches of water column not too much I can say these are just the regular solenoids one solenoid here it's pretty heavy though it's pretty heavy and looks like there is another solenoid here and how about this one here that's another solenoid because of this so we have three solenoids and there is a pressure regulator these taps are to regulate the pressure for the high and low for the high um, for the second stage and first stage basically that's what that is according to what I'm seeing here and then it's electronically that solenoid is controlled by and is connected to to this here Again, thanks for watching.